Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well and welcome to my channel. So today, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be doing a skincare routine for oily skin. So I have been using these new products, which I will be talking about um, in just a sec. But a lot of you guys have been kind of complimenting me on my skin um, and you also ask me questions about like my skincare routine and things like that so today I thought I would do a skincare routine for you guys um obviously specifically catering for combination to oily skin because that's the type of skin that I have so um like I said this is a new routine for me so I'm still trying to figure out whether I completely like the product um but you guys will get my opinion on that as the video goes on so um I will be focusing on one particular brand and this brand is called excuse my accent <laughs> Termer. Termer, I think um, and basically they contacted me and asked me to do a review on their um, on their products um, this is not a sponsored video at all like they are not paying me to do this video they simply just sent me the products um, and I've got these products probably about not that long ago I did um, Instagram when I got like the package and things like that. So I decided to do um, a video featuring all of these products as I'm going to be using these for the next, I guess, few months. If I like them, I'll obviously continue to use them. So this is basically my new current skincare routine using these products. So I feel like I've spoken a lot, so I'm just gonna get straight into this video. Okay, so like I said in the beginning, I do have um, combination to oily skin, mainly oily skin. And so I did ask them to send me the, um, combination to oily skin range which they did um from the exception of one which is for all skin, all skin types um so the thing that i've been using pretty much every day is the jojoba tea clarifying cleanser um also before i get into this video i should quickly mention these are all organic vegan products so if you, um i feel like it just works for everyone and i don't know if you guys know but basically i when it comes to skincare, I basically use products that are very minimal. Like they don't have too much stuff in them. I really prefer organic kind of basic things. If you watch my couple of videos, you see that I've used, not couple of videos, but if you've watched my videos, I think I've shown them. Like I use Cetaphil, like I use really basic standard products because I feel like that works for my skin tone. So, not my skin tone, oh my God, <laughs> works for my skin type. So when I found out that these were organic vegan products I thought this would be perfect for me because it's just simple products all organic which is great um so back to what I was saying so the clarifying cleanser um so basically I'm just going to read what it says briefly read what it says on the back of the box which the packaging just looks like this if you were wondering um and so it says Jojoba Tea Clarifying Cleanser is ideal for oily combination and blemished skin as its gently foaming action cleanses excess oil, debris and bacteria from beneath the surface without damaging the sensitive skin barrier. And then it also says a whole bunch of good stuff, but I don't want to give you guys a whole like sermon on it. Um, but basically, you just use this with um, lukewarm water and just apply a small amount to the... Um, what is it called? This kind of pad that it comes with. I'm not sure what this is called. The cleansing pad. And I really, really love this cleansing pad. I don't own a Clarisonic or any kind of like technical thing to use to um, use for my cleansers. So when I saw this, I was super excited. Obviously, it's not a Clarisonic. Like it's just a kind of rubber cleansing pad. But I just really love the feeling on my skin. I absolutely love it. Um, none of these products actually have any scent um i was kind of surprised but at the same time it doesn't really bother me because all the skincare that i use typically has um no scent but i've been pretty much using this every day and i really really love it it's just a really great everyday cleanser i did try to use it um to like remove my makeup and it just didn't work so i probably won't use it for that but for just for general use like in the morning and before i go to bed i just really um really like it it's very unique like i i've never seen a kind of charcoal black cleanser before um but overall i really really do like this and kind of diverging onto something totally different but the packaging on on all of these is absolutely amazing like i just assumed it would be you know standard you know packaging but it's actually i don't know if you can hear it no you can't but it's basically like glass packaging it just feels so luxurious and just expensive onto the price i should have figured that out before this video Oh, let me get my laptop real quick <laughs> okay sorry guys okay so i should have 
prepared myself before this video but this retails for 54 dollars and it has a 150 mil or five fluid ounce or five five ounces yeah and um, so it is quite a pricey cleanser but i definitely feel like it's worth it it just feels really good on my skin it doesn't irritate my skin i do have quite sensitive skin so i'm kind of skeptical trying new stuff but it's just really kind of um a really great basic cleanser and it does the job of cleansing my skin and i just love this additional cleansing pad because i feel like it's really working into my skin rather than just using my fingers um or like a muslin cloth because i do have other cleansers which come with like a muslin cloth which i feel i don't know it's not the most hygienic because i just feel like it's not the most hygienic and then it's always a pain to wash as well so i really love this kind of small cleansing pad it comes with and overall i have been really loving this um for like everyday use for my skin so after cleansing i use a toner and the one that i use is the apple cider vinegar toner from obviously the same brand so um this is essentially a scented tea tree and cider toner which creates the perfect ph balance for oily or blemished um skin it also has a combination of tea tree extracts apple cider vinegar aloe and willow bark um, which gently eliminate any impurities while toning and rehydrating your skin so basically i just use this on a um cotton pad i just do a probably around like two pumps and i just really love that it takes kind of the extra dirt that the cleanser misses um <laughs> So this retails for forty six dollars, and it's also it is also a hundred and fifty mil. I really really like this. I just love that it takes off like the extra dirt. I've never been like whenever I cleanse, I would never really use a toner to be honest. Um, I it's just like it's an extra step that I just really can't be bothered to do. But um, I really like the cleanser and the toner like in combination with each other. So um, yeah, so that's the toner. And then the last thing that I would use as a moisturiser for my skin is the um, green tea and chamomile moisturiser. So when it comes to moisturiser, I'm always a bit like, oh my gosh, because I feel like they kind of add to my oils um, and I don't need to be any oilier than I, need, than I already am. And also I don't like... Um, I never really used to like wearing moisturiser, which is really bad, don't do that, because I felt like it was, whenever I'd wear my makeup, it would just kind of contribute to the excessive oils. So, but I find that with this moisturiser, I really, really like it. Um, it's quite pricey, it is $94, which is quite expensive. I'm not sure how much that is in pounds, probably around like, I don't know, 80 something, 70 something pounds. Um, which is quite expensive and it's only 50 mil but i feel like a little goes a long way with this at first when i pumped it out i was like oh my gosh like this is like a thick cream but it's actually quite thin and once i like put it on my skin it just kind of dissolves into my skin and leaves me with a, a glow and i'm usually all against glow like when products say oh they'll give you that glow because i feel like when i hear glow i think of oily excessive oils but this when i'm not wearing any makeup it just gives me a really nice natural glow and it's not thick where i feel like it's clogging up um, my pores so i really like this also with a lot of these with um with like the cleanser the toner as well as the moisturizer they, they always say kind of blend it down to your neck that's just something i don't do because i have very problematic skin which i'm not really gonna get into like in terms of like my neck area so i don't typically put anything around there but overall i really love this as a um moisturizer again it doesn't smell like anything i'm kind of surprised i thought it would smell like green tea but i guess not and i think with all the other ones it has witch hazel green tea rosemary and willow bark um so yeah this is my new and current moisturizer so now when it comes to masks i am not not that i'm not a fan i just feel like it's a bit time consuming and i just can't be bothered to be doing masks all the time but this mask really intrigued me so this is the tropical deep cleansing mask um and this is recommended for all skin types now when products say they're recommended for all skin types i literally cannot stand it because i feel like how can it, how can something for dry skin work for someone who has oily skin like it just doesn't work i don't i just don't like it when pro, when companies products whatever says it works for all the skin types i just feel like how 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 does it work for someone that's got oily for someone that's got dry for someone that's got normal i just i don't know 
that's just a pet peeve of mine but anyway um this contains enzymes that soften and um hydrate your skin papaya and um, green papaya are excellent natural source of antioxidants which reverse the jam jam damaging effect of aging and they also contain um papain i don't know if i pronounced that right that kills dead skin cells and reduces brown spots and impurities and it also which i was super like oh my gosh i'm super excited to try this it also comes with a volcanic hot stone um and it says so you can indulge in a professional and therapeutic home cleansing treatment i don't know that's what it says but i was super like oh my gosh this is weird so like i said it comes with the um volcanic hot stone which is super cool and quite not heavy but it has some weight to it and then the actual um mask comes in like a gel gel form like it's a gel like it looks like a gel it is a gel um and i'm not really used to that I, when i think of masks i think of these white marks that are really hard and then once they dry you can barely move your face but this one was so so different so obviously it's clear and it comes with a spatula which i found was super useful because it means that i could distribute it evenly um on my face and i ended up using a lot less products than if i were to use my fingers and the i'm not sure how many mil this is um this is 50 mil and it retails for 122 dollars which is expensive <laughs> it is quite expensive but this is just like something that i've never seen before i haven't tried that many masks and maybe there are other masks that are like this but i personally have never seen a mask that looks like this like it is a clear jelly type of mask and like i was saying the spatula enables me to distribute it evenly um on my face and then you leave it on for 15 minutes oh before that you're meant to soak the hot volcanic stone in hot water not boiling just hot water so i just use hot water from the tap i just let it sit there for three minutes and then i massage it into my face and it just I don't know i thought this is really odd at first but then once i felt it it just felt so kind of soothing and like the heat from the hot water kind of sinks into the stone and it just gives me like this kind of calming kind of smooth sensation it sounds really weird but it feels so good and i thought you know that the friction against my skin might hurt but no it is it just has this amazing feeling and i really like that it's just really different and something that i've never tried before um so back with the mask you leave it on for 15 minutes and then um it dries and it doesn't dry to that kind of point where you can't feel your face like you know those masks where you can't even talk because it's just like squeezing your skin but this one was just really different and it just dried clear which is something that i haven't been used to before but i think the most remarkable thing about the mask is that when i use water to kind of um of, well, to wash the mask off after the 15 minutes, it felt so smooth. Like, my skin just felt so good. I I wish, I wish I could explain it. Like, I mean, I am explaining it, but I wish you guys could feel what I felt. It just felt so smooth, and I've never had that feeling before. Like, I feel like with some masks, it kind of leaves, like, a residue, like, the white residue, and I have to really, like, scrub my face to get it off. But with this one, it just felt so smooth. It just came off so i i absolutely love this mask and i'm not one for masks because i just feel like it's a bit time consuming and i really can't be bothered to be putting stuff in hot water and all that stuff but i feel like this will be an exception and i really love it and i feel like for 122 dollars like it better be good because that is a lot of money to be spending on a face mask although i think there are like other masks out there which are around that price point anyway if you want a good mask and then once i used that moisturizer after i put on the mask my skin just felt so soft and gray and i loved it um so that is pretty much my new current skincare routine featuring these new products that were sent to me um i definitely have to try these out for a lot longer i feel like in order to give in order to know whether these products work for you you have to use them for like an extended period of time so i'm going to give it a few months to see how these products work for me but so far i've been really loving it specifically the deep cleansing mask as well as the cleanser 
the cleanser has been my go-to every day and the mask is just something I re like, I want to do it every day but I know I can't I'm not sure how long you're so like not how long but how often you're supposed to do the mask but I'll probably do it every um few weeks but overall i really love my new and current skincare routine and hopefully um i will give you guys updates on whether i you know or whether these products are still working for me but as of now i really really do like them i will leave their website in the description box down below the only down point to these products are that they qu are quite expensive um they're expensive they're not a drugstore brand but i feel like you're paying for what you get kind of thing and with most of my skincare other than cetaphil they are kind of in the higher range um i feel like with skincare you kind of you don't have to but i feel like those drugstore brands don't really work for me as much as the kind of more expensive not saying that that's for everyone but that's just for me personally personally other than like the cetaphil um, that I use, well used to use, but with these new products I really really enjoy using them and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you found it helpful because um, I know I get a lot of questions on my skincare and all of you guys are always leaving like some really sweet comments about my skin and asking me like what I use to get my skin so clear so this is what I've been currently using and I will be doing an update um, I'm not sure what in what type of video maybe like in a favorites video if I continue to like them month to month but I will definitely keep you guys updated on whether you know these products are still working for me but I just want to say a huge thank you um, for those of you who keep watching and subscribing I really do appreciate it and um, I hope you all have an amazing day my Instagram will be there <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys